Okay, so this is going to be panel two of this series, um, panel two of the command module. Um, and this panel is, um, it's kind of carried over from the pilot's, uh, side of the command module. I mean, the commando side of the command module. This is typically actually where, uh, the command module pilot would actually sit. Uh, during the mission, but in I think one instance that uh, the limb pi uh, lunar module pilot pilot would actually sit here, uh, which it was Buzz Aldrin. Not one hundred percent certain on the reasonings behind that, but you know there's a reason behind everything. Um. So we got um another F. Uh, FDAI, uh, flight director, and attitude indicator, which is right here, or uh, nap, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, tickles your fancy, but in Apollo's typically uh, named uh, FDAI. Right below it is the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery called the Disky. Um, I cannot wait to get actually get a replica of this. I've talked to a company called s and Geotronics, but unfortunately I could not work uh, due to a hernia, and their machinery is pretty expensive in my opinion, but I mean a lot of it's hand done, which if you think about it, you really sh can't really complain about it, but um, Ditsky is pretty much a um, communicator between the crew and the... Uh, spacecraft. I mean, if you really do think about it, you're probably looking at this on a laptop or a PC. Keyboard could be thought as a as the uh, disc part of the uh, disc key in the uh, monitor you're looking at is considered to be in, like the display. Uh, pretty much uh, same concept there. Um, this is pretty much one of the most crucial parts of the whole uh, two spacecrafts. Command module only had two, the lamb only had one. Uh, the second one is pretty much on the lower part of the uh, spacecraft right next to the sextant in the navigational station of the entire spacecraft. So right below it is the uh, control for the um, launch vehicle, this is pretty typical, um, I mean, launch vehicle and plus the, uh, service module and lunar module, you got a EDS auto on, um, going to pop open a lot of these and then really get out my glossary, because like I said in the, uh, last video, I really should have studied, it's just, a uh, a minute after I made the, uh, other one, so, Good thing we got glossaries, am I right? So, EDS, EDS. So, um, EDS stands for Emergency Detection System, which, you know, detection goes through the entire launch vehicle, and plus, um, lead the command module during launch and during the entire mission. Command module and uh, CSM and LM, LM, um, final and tap. This is actually, uh, for the docking probe to be separated into the, uh, drogue after the LM has done its job for the mission. The probe would actually be bolted off or decoupled from the, uh, command module, and the command module will have no more uh, probe to uh, dock with. So it's pretty much um, stuck inside the uh, drug of the limb. So next uh, thing is the command module and the uh, service module separation. That's uh, pretty much, uh, there is a couple of power loops uh, around the CSM enabling command module and service module um, separation. As for BLEM uh, SEP, this is uh, used to uh, 
set up pyros within the uh, S4B for the uh, lamp to actually be ejected. Um, rest is a propellant dump, uh, two engine now auto. Um, abort. I mean, a lot of this is abort uh, systems. Uh, launch vehicle rates uh, auto off. Tower jet that's just uh, ejects the uh, LES. Um, launch vehicle uh, guidance S4B. This is again a lot of this is set during and before launch and main release. So, um, going from top to bottom here, um, docking probe, uh, this command controls the docking probe initially from here to here. So you got your extend and release off and retract before docking. This was, um, um, set, uh, Extend to actually extend the probe so it can actually do a soft dock then hard dock. What uh, was done using the uh, retract and setting the uh, prime and second um, exterior lights uh, run EVA off uh, stuff like that rendezvous spot tunnel lights. This uh, switch was used for the forward attach of the uh, command module. Uh, lamp power um, CSM. It shares power between the command module and service module. And it's uh, currently set to off. A lot of times it's going to be set to off our command service module. And uh, sometimes it is set uh, to reset once in a while. So just below is uh, ser uh, service module and command module uh, RCS propellants. Uh, propellant was uh, helium. Um, which um was um main fuel of the uh, RCS ports. But before, um, side to the left, we got the surface module RCS propellants. This uh just measures uh propellants during the uh, Hornet Tower mission. There's a lot of different ways to uh, check upon it. Um, which is right below it. Um. So right below the two gauges is the uplink and um, this is done to share data between ground control and um, the CSM or the uh, command module. Right next to it is the CSM press. This press is the RCS pro uh, propellant. Uh, right next to it is the uh, service module RCS IND or indicator helium tank uh, uh, temp. Sorry, this uh, gives you, uh, shows how um, what the t uh, temperature of the uh, helium inside the tanks is. If you switch it to propellant, um, it will give you pretty much an accurate reading of how much uh, propellant is in uh, the tanks. Um, right below it, uh, surface module RCS heaters during the mission, they will be set to uh, prime. Right below it is uh, CMD um, for enabling the um, the uh, RCS to be used. Uh, uh, Give me a second. I can say in the last video, let me know if I get anything wrong or if I'm uh, not explaining myself uh, very well here because I know I'm going to be skipping over stuff just how I, for some stupid reason. That's why a lot of us do. Human trait, nothing to be ashamed of, I guess. I think this is uh this uh transfer between uh CM and SM for uh control. Right next to his uh RCS propellant this would be 
switched uh, on uh, to control RCS and next to it. Oh, I forgot to uh, say the cushion warning lights um, here. This is um, to tell what uh, the, the, the crew, what uh, the problem was, what happened, and this is not. <clears throat> Up below is your mission event uh, timer. Uh, I mean, uh, mission timer. This is uh, pretty much a GET or Grand Elapsed uh, time from the pad from launch. Uh, this is uh, very adjustable. Um, also, the disk key, the uh, HTC, um, will keep account of how much time has passed. You can also adjust this through the uh, the disk key itself. Uh, but below it is crash warning lights. Um, this uh, right now is um, set to um, ACK. Really should have done some more spinning. Uh, now I actually think it's what it stands for boost in normal. A lot of times the constant warning uh, would be set to normal. Um, this and that. This just controls uh, this and the MS and timer. So, right below it's uh, cabin fan, uh, H2 heater, uh, O2 heater, uh, tank, uh, search tank. Uh, this is Right, is, uh, you would uh, do this periodically. I think it's right before and after uh, sleep uh, periods. Oh, um, RCSI indicator. This will pop up on here and the ECS again on there. Right below it, uh, ECS uh, radiator sits uh, kind of radiates um, different things on um, the bottom. A lot of it's uh, control uh, of this and that. Um, some of it's going to be glycol. Some of it's going to be secondary cooling loops, uh, suit uh, circuit um, uh, cooling, uh, H2O pot heater, um, this and that. Um, I believe that is going to be the high gain antenna. It's going to be uh, used to uh, communicate between ground control and um, Houston, uh, ground control and the crew. And right below is uh, more options to set this and that for the uh, command module. And uh, like, like it's in the first video, I'm going to demonstrate this, um, how all this ties together in the uh, mission. I'm going to try in my very best uh, um demonstrate how all this ties into the actual mission like it's if I miss anything don't hesitate to ask or say something uh, I'm trying my best to make these videos uh, very good um, but um, of course I'm only human I can only do so much uh, and that might not be a good uh, quality so be it um, so uh, yeah thanks for uh, watching my uh, video Oh, I forgot the, um, so, uh, some of the gauges, um, some of the gauges are going to be for hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, uh, some of them I know it's going to be N2 or nitrogen squared. Because that's what the uh, 2 stands for in a uh, equation like this, um, H2O2, H2O2. I know they used uh, nitrogen in the uh, cabin. Because I know it uh, has a mixed gas uh, 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 quality. This was actually just uh, said during the announcement during the uh, right before launch. Uh, I can't remember who announced it, but he would always say the cabin is being purged to the atmosphere for forty percent uh, oxygen and six sixty uh, percent um, percent. Uh, 
nitrogen atmosphere, no, something like that. And then uh, they would actually breathe uh, pure O2 or oxygen through their spacesuits. So, I, I, I mean, that's about it. Uh, if I miss anything or if you know, what comment on how I'm dealing with these, let me know. Uh, the criticism, I mean, just being nice about it. That's all anyone will really ask about tutorials about this. Um, I apologize because my speech impediment, uh, I do have allergies right now that kick my ass. But, um, if you guys think I'm doing a good job, just let me know. Um, if I'm, like I said, missing anything, um, I'll try to catch myself. If not, if you see something that I missed or completely or just touch, uh, briefly up on, uh, just keep in mind I will be making more videos on how these uh, all intertwine with one another and how this works during the mission, how that works during the mission, uh, and this and that. So just keep that in mind. Well, thank you for watching this uh, video, and I will see you next time.